everybody and welcome back to um, MJB. It's been a hot minute since we filmed on this channel. 60 seconds. <laughs> and that's just because um, of everything that's going on. So we are currently, if you're watching this in the future, we are filming it while we are on quarantine. It is March... 21st? 22nd. 22nd. Wow. Um, I don't so even remember we're like, the date. We're in, I know, that's what quarantine life does for you. Um, but we're like in the midst of everything happening. But if you couldn't tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, um, we have decided to call off our wedding for the second time. Again. Which is so freaking frustrating. Number two. We were literally just talking about it and we're like, the theme for our wedding is damned if we do, damned if we don't. Because... Every decision we do and every wedding we plan, we have to cancel. It's the worst. So that's great. Um, so a little backstory: we canceled our wedding. We were supposed to get married last May, but I was actually pregnant with him. Um, and our wedding was planned in Cuba. So we had to um, cancel that because um, I was pregnant and the Zika and virus. Zika virus. So, um, Zika virus. Yeah. Can you say Zika? We didn't want him coming out with little deformities, so we canceled our wedding, and we rebooked it for this May, and yeah. then obviously it's not happening because of the whole coronavirus. So there's just viruses Bless out there you. that don't want us to get married, I guess, apparently. Good so job. You do this. Um, Bless you. I chew. I chew. Good. Practicing good quarantine skills, right, Benny? I chew. Yeah, so that's basically it. Like, we've decided to cancel our wedding. We don't know what we're going to be doing for our no third wedding. Clue. Um, I do still want, like, my dream wedding is still to go and get married on a beach somewhere and live in Canada, so unfortunately so that's not going to happen. Why, do, why don't we just go down and whoever can't make it now, it's just what it is. So, yeah, so what Jake is talking about, we talked about this a little bit previous to this video, so... We were planning on oh. yeah, our newest plan. We've been talking about this Freaking for a while. Year. Um, so our newest options are we go down south um, next May. Yeah. We don't like so basically what our travel agent is offering us is an extension for two years. Um, if we want to like postpone our trip and so that way we don't lose our money. Um, they aren't giving us our money back. They weren't the only airline that doesn't give money back, which is freaking great. Um, so yeah, so we'd go down south, um, and we we're planning on doing it next May. The reason we booked in May, um, and we're not going to like book in like six months from now, is because um, it's hurricane season in six months from now, and I don't want to like have it rain for the whole time that we're down there. Yeah. And then um, in the summer, it's like really, really hot during the day and uh, to a point where like you can't go out for certain hours and like, I don't know, I don't want to expose this little baby virgin skin oh. to that. And ruin our time. Yeah, because then we can't go out for certain hours and it's like excruciatingly we'll hot. quarantined inside a hotel room and yeah, with nothing to do. We already yeah. have nothing to do. Yeah. Right? Da, 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 da. So, da, 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 da. yeah, so it'd be for next May. But if we do next May, there's a lot of people who are going to, who have booked already now that are going to back out. So, for example, my grandparents. Yeah. They are old. So my they dad don't could. know. My yeah. dad could. Their dad could. My dad's disabled. He could. He's in a, he uses a walker. Yeah. He could just be like, he was, all, this time he was already like, I don't know about coming. I don't, I don't need to be at your wedding. Oh, thanks, Dad. But... Yeah. He didn't mean it like that, but still, like, well, he's yeah, disabled, so. and like my grandfather's had two heart attacks. You know, right. he's eighty something years old, so yeah. he doesn't know but if he's gonna the, be even alive in a year. You know, but and a year so, comes fast. He's still like, you know, might hopefully, be able like, to, I'm right? praying that he's still alive in a year. Don't get me wrong, but like, no, but just wanting to travel in general. He yeah, probably, like he he's my, already saying like he he's not gonna do any more trips yeah. because it's just a lot for him obviously he's 80 with a heart condition so of course right. so um my, yeah my grandfather still wants to travel though and he is like but he's had no problems really with, his, with his heart yeah yeah so it's yeah. the difference you know so like, if we say like a year from now a lot of people are, are gonna back out for, yeah. for that reason just just different different reasons in general yeah. so yeah so our option is to postpone it for a year 
But if we do, a lot of the people that we love are not going to be there. If we just cancel it all together, then everybody loses their deposits because they're giving us back our money minus our deposits. Yeah. So it's $200 per person for deposit, which isn't that bad of a deal when you're like, when it's just two people. Like you just lose $400. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. No. Um, there's some families though that have booked and have like five people who have booked. So that's literally a thousand dollars that is just down the drain. Right, um, but as opposed to how much more money that they would lose if we didn't get anything, or they got the voucher and it just never happened. You know? Yeah, I guess so. But still, it kind of sucks. Like our airline should give us back our voucher, and they were giving or the deposit, and they were giving back uh, deposits Houses. like money in full. But um, they were only giving it back for two days until they realized they ran out of money and um, we weren't informed that they were giving vouchers because yeah. our travel people. agent freaking sucks. Yeah. So yeah, now people are out a thousand dollars because our travel agent couldn't pick up a phone and call us. Well, potentially. Whatever. We do a voucher so do. and change the date. Yeah, but we don't want to. I don't think. Like, okay, so this is what I think our plan is going to be. I don't know what our wedding will look like okay, well. i really don't want to plan a wedding for the third time but okay, I mean, what? whatever what's the plan um i think we just do something here we you didn't want that though you wanted no, down south. i don't want it i want it down south can we do something here when when, when the quarantine is over and when halls yeah. and places are available so we are we would do it at a hall or something well, I don't know. If we're gonna do it here, might as well invite everybody. Might as well invite all of your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we might as well, yeah. Because our wedding down south, we we only had like twenty something people coming because yeah. a lot of people couldn't afford to come. Um, so this way, we can invite like everybody. And if we invite everybody, then we're gonna need a hall or something big enough to, so, to handle more than a hundred people. So then, how about we price everything out and we figure that out? Yeah, but then if we do that option, by the way, halls and, and everything here so are expensive. very, very, very expensive. An average wedding, we Googled it the other day, um, in Ontario, is uh, 44. It was 44, 200. Down, down, down. Downtown. Well, I guess it, it's, it's the 20% so yeah. close. To the so we're probably... So we're probably going to have to pay $40,000 for a wedding. And the kicker to that is all the people that were originally going to come to Cuba, they've already spent the money that they want to spend on our wedding. So our gifts, like we're going to get like a little like token gift. We're not going to get the full amount. So a lot of people have this wedding. They go into temporary debt for $40,000. But then the money that everyone gives pays that off. Okay, now we're sounding ungrateful. But... No, I don't no, want to sound ungrateful, but that's just something that we need to consider in terms of having a wedding here. We're probably not going to break even, and I completely understand why we're not breaking even. It's not because like our families think it's are being ungrateful. I think it's just that that's literally how the culture is. That's in families and culture dynamics that do that. That's what happens. Lots I guess of the so. wedding is covered. By gifts. Yeah, people which actually, like are, in Italian cultures, you make money on your wedding. Which you are so grateful for. Obviously, I've been getting fucking amazingly grateful gifts all my life, and I'm grateful for it, and I'm of not yeah. going to play it down. So we're not saying it at that standpoint. But if we go into debt because of this, yeah, it's just, that's literally what it comes down to. It sounds like, it sounds so, like, like, spoiled and everything, but that's what it comes down to. That's why people will have, I mean, unless you have money coming out the wazoo, you will not be worried about a wedding. Do we find something cheaper and just make do? Yeah, but I don't want to find a cheaper wedding, though. Like, I don't just want to do, like... A wedding. Just a wedding just to say that we did a wedding. Like, if we're going to do a wedding, my I want my... Like, girls dream about their wedding their whole life. We don't want it to just be like, okay, sign these papers, you're done. I want a big celebration for, for yeah. myself. And that's just my personal preference. Yeah. Like some people are fine with eloping and that's fine. You just go on a beautiful honeymoon at that point. But wouldn't it be amazing if free money just fell out of the sky? Can I just give me some <laughs> free money? God, can I get some free currency, please? <laughs> oh my God. On the double. You know what? Take your time. Take your time, you're a busy man. 
You just snapped at a character real fast there. I don't want to give you, you guys too much. How do you do it, babe? Ashantai. <laughs> Actors. So that is our dilemma, guys. Um, we don't know what to do. That'll be the title. We'll be like this, and we'll be like, We don't know what to do! <laughs> we don't know what to do! And we just, it's the title. Okay, guys, so that is basically um, our everything? video. I think we covered everything. We filmed this video twice, so I feel like maybe we didn't cover some things. I don't know. Um, I guess when you edit it, you'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll see what we did. How the hell it's if I missed things, then I'll just like input myself while I'm editing and I'll just explain things. But, um, White text. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, that's, that's it for our video. Wish us luck planning our third wedding. At this point, honestly, I don't even want to get married. Um, no offense. So I don't want to get married to you. It's just I don't want. Well, I, didn't get, third I didn't even want to get married to begin with. I don't know what happened. Like, I have a child now. Like, <laughs> what's going on? I trapped you. And this is all happening so fast. <laughs> Mama, you were right. <laughs> you think she'll watch this video? Oh, I'm not <laughs> you think she'll watch this video? <laughs> Tiki tiki okay. tiki 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 Adios everybody Bye guys, thanks Have for watching Have a great day, have fun on quarantine uh, Stay safe Stay safe, social distance Babe, Do the masks